Hey guys, welcome back to the shop. In my last video, I showed you the three specialty tools that you're going to need when it's time to work on your electronic Rochester Quadrajet or dual jet carburetor. Well, it turns out I've got three more tools that I absolutely can't live without and I wish I knew about when I first got into the hobby. So in three minutes or less, I'm going to show you all of them. Let's get started. First up, we have a universal carburetor gauge set from Kent Moore. If you don't know about Kent Moore, they made really high quality tools for all the GM dealerships back in the 1980s. The part number is J9789-C. This kit is great because not only does it contain a nice ruler to measure your float height, it also contains feeler gauges for everything you're going to need on your carburetor and a carburetor choke gauge, which you're going to need to properly set your choke angles. Next up, we have another kit from Kent Moore. It's a carburetor float positioning tool kit. The part number is J34817. Guys, this kit is absolutely invaluable. Not only does it contain a float weight, the adapter plates for it, and the tools to adjust your float height, it also contains this, the J33815 mixture control and air bleed valve gauges. These things will save you so much time and trial and error when you're attempting to properly set your mixture control solenoid height and your idle air bleed valve height. These two tools right here are huge time savers when it comes to calibrating one of these carburetors. If you buy nothing else, just find this. They're still available on eBay, and I'm going to include links in the description. All right, that's it for the Kent Moore tools. The next one I'm going to show you is from Thexton. Not only is it great for working on carburetors, but it's fantastic and a huge time saver if you're doing anything with any electronic component on one of these older cars. So before I do that, just make sure you hit the like button if you like the video. Subscribe if you want to follow along for more tips and tricks. Let's go. Next up, from Thexton, we have part number 375, a GM computer command control sensor adapter kit. I have made my own out of wires, alligator clips, soldering on old male and female connectors. If I knew about this thing, I wouldn't have wasted my time. You can still find them on eBay. It has multiple adapters, coolant adapter, male and male clips, male to female clips, and every part, and I hope you can see it here in the video, has a hole in the wire. So you could just stick a voltage tester right now, right in there, and find out what your sensors is doing. This thing is fantastic. I've used it so many times when I'm trying to diagnose carburetor or emission control problems. It's amazing. If you can find one, definitely pick it up. All right, guys, so that's it. Three more tools that I absolutely can no longer live without and wish I knew about a long, long time ago. Thanks for tuning in. I'll see you in the next one.